Tonight on Nightline, Team Repellent. For real, this secret sound weapon sends rowdy kids running, but adults can't hear a thing. Could this be the answer to loitering teens at the mall? How the science of hearing is letting the grown-ups fight back. From the global resources of ABC News, with Terry Moran in Washington, Martin Bashir, and Cynthia McFadden in New York City, this is Nightline, August 25th, 2006. Good evening, I'm Terry Moran. First off tonight, we're going to take a look at an innovative new way of tackling a very old social problem. Teenagers behaving badly. Greasers and mods, bad boys and punks, they've always been with us, hanging out on street corners, malls, Main Street, wherever, sometimes making a pest of themselves, or worse. Well, now come the yobs in Britain and the mosquito. A clever invention that just may be the ultimate weapon in the age-old struggle between grown-ups and teens. ABC's Nick Watt reports from Southampton, England. Here in Britain, they're called yobs. Indolent teenagers with nothing better to do than hang around public places, drinking alcohol, smoking cigarettes, scrawling graffiti, and harassing respectable members of society. You're under arrest. For respectable weed older. Politicians and policemen pontificate endlessly about what should be done. Yob culture and antisocial behavior. The yob culture. Of the yob culture. Loutish behavior. Fuggery. To the yob culture. Now, Howard Stapleton, a mild mannered inventor, thinks he has the answer. Watch this. Mid afternoon, the Wyvern Theatre, Swindon in the west of England. A hullabaloo. Minutes later, near silence. What happened? Well, the theater turned on its secret weapon, the so-called mosquito, a speaker mounted on the theater wall that plays a high-frequency tone at around 85 decibel. <laughs> Sound is not a new weapon. Wagner was Lieutenant Colonel Kilgore's acoustic weapon of choice in Apocalypse Now. Put on side war off. Make it loud. <laughs> Rap music used in a vain attempt to flush Noriega from his Panama City bolt hole in 89. <laughs> and against insurgents in Iraq, loud threats in Arabic, indiscriminate, deafening, and surely as irritating for these U.S. Marines as for any lurking insurgents. But what's different about the mosquito is this. The piercing wail it emits can only be heard by people under the age of about 25. We brought the mosquito here to the annual convention of the British Youth Council. I'm 33 years old. I can't hear it, but we've got 59 people here who are aged between 12 and 22. They should be able to hear it. Peter? Yes, I can. It's just like ringing in, in your ears. Unpleasant? Yes, very unpleasant. Torture? Not torture, but it's very unpleasant. Are you sure? It's just, it's ridiculous, really, because who needs to hear it? It's constantly there, you can just hear it like it's back of your head, and it's very uncomfortable sitting here with it. So, I mean, you, you, you'd rather go? I would rather not be here. And, Kingston, what do you think? I just think it's an unnecessary noise. It's just really painful. I wouldn't be sat here for much longer. So, it would make you move on? Yeah. But how does it make you feel as a teenager to have something that's designed to make you move on? It feels like they're victimizing teenagers, really. Okay, so how many of you can hear this? Would you want to hang around in here with this noise? No. no. So it would stop you hanging around in anywhere where you could hear this? Yes. yes. Unfair? Yes. yes. Do you want us to turn it off? Yes. yes. We visited Howard Stapleton in the garden shed where he invented the mosquito. The mosquito is a device that is manufactured to produce a noise that is highly annoying to teenagers. It's not at a particularly loud volume, but it's a sufficient volume that within five or six minutes they pick up on the noise, and within ten minutes they're so fed up they move away from the area. So yeah, we call it the teen deterrent or teen repellent. The mosquito is turned on at 17.4 kHz. That's, that's correct. We can't hear that? No. No, we both our hearing is too short. We're too old to hear that. What does too old mean? Let's ask the experts at the Ear Institute. As you get older, you tend to lose the high end, that's the, the basal end, in fact, 
of your hearing, the high frequency end of your hearing, and the hair cells start to degenerate a bit. 17.4 kilohertz is too high for me to hear, but it's right at the top end of a teenager's range. Right at the top end, therefore uncomfortable. It sounds very annoying because high frequency sounds per se sound more annoying than low pitched, low frequency sounds. And what about younger kids? Well, they can hear far higher frequencies than teenagers. 17.4 kilohertz isn't high for them, so it isn't uncomfortable. But what does the mosquito sound like to a teenager? Howard dropped the frequency to the top of an average 30 year old's range. Okay, we'll jump down to 50. Okay, it's 50 and I can hear You can hear that clearly. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, done one or two rock concerts, but not too many. Yeah. Howard has sold 1,500 mosquitoes and counting, and there's a spin-off that lets the teens strike back. What use could teenagers have for a sound only they can hear? A young inventor has turned the mosquito's buzz into a cell phone ringtone. So, teenagers have now taken their revenge. This phone is now ringing. Can you guys hear it? Yeah. yeah. Clearly? Yeah. But most teachers over the age of about 25 will not be able to hear it in the classroom. Some teens see it as a violation of their rights to loiter and laugh in public. The Wilson Committee on the Problem of Noise has published its report. For years, we've tried to reduce noise generated by motorcycles, airplanes, construction workers. In these days of transistors, even the countryside isn't immune. And, of course, young people. The report advises more consideration for others. But what are the ethics of inflicting noise, of inflicting the mosquito, on teenagers to preserve silence for the rest of us? Back to that theatre in Swindon and local policeman Andy Alexander. If they misbehave like the wall behind you is the wall to the theatre, they play football against it. And the theatre will ask them to move, they'll ask them to stop, tell them why. If they don't, the mosquito gets turned on. So the mosquito is a last resort? Exactly. And it works? Yes. Yes. Is that lawful? Is that allowed? Is that a police yeah. state? No, it's, it's something we've looked at. We look at the human rights in this country quite in depth, as you're probably aware. It's something we've researched. This is the very last resort. It's the very last resort. We've tried everything else we can do. You have to look at the rights of many, as opposed to the rights of a very small group, and it is a small group that causes problems. And the mosquito seems to guarantee that right. Robert Goff used to have a problem. Hundreds of teenagers would hang around outside his store, pestering customers. It would go on to be shoplifting, assault amongst themselves, sometimes assault onto my staff, and it would often spill over from the doorway into the shop. How quickly after you installed Mosquito did you see results? Um, yeah, instantly. It, it did seem too good at first to be true. Like, you know, it was, uh, there must be something else. I thought perhaps I would have been locked up. And if you're just walking into the shop to buy something, is it annoying? Yeah, no, very. But you still come here to shop? Yeah. <laughs> but you wouldn't hang around outside here? No. Perfect. So they spend money, they come and go, but they don't loiter. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline in Southampton, England. Brilliant, really. Here in the U.S., the mosquito ringtone is already spreading around.